Cookies are also one of the most important topic in Node application. Cookies are small data that are stored on a client side and sent to the client along with server request. Cookies have various functionalities. They can be used for maintaining sessions and adding user specific feature in your web application. Now to understand cookies, I'm going to create a simple example and show you how you can store your cookies in your application. So let's create a simple example to understand how cookies work in Node. Here I have a simple structure of HTTP server. So I'm going to first require the express, then create an instance of the app, then specify the port and call the listen method to listen the server on this address. Now to work with cookies, you need to install a module cookie parser. So I'm going to open my terminal and here I'm going to say npm install cookie parser. So using this module, I can create cookies in the application. I'm going to press enter and install this module in my node modules folder. Clear the screen, close this terminal and when you open the package.json, you will have here cookies parser. You will have this module as a dependency. Let's close this package.json. So let me first create my basic route. So for the home page, I'm going to say app.get and for the root route, I'm going to create a simple request and response parameter and just say response.send and here I'm going to say cookies tutorial. Now this is just a simple home route. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple variable and store that variable data inside the cookies. So we need to first require the cookies parser module inside the application. So just after this app, here I'm going to say constant cookies is equal to and here I'm going to just require cookies parser. And as you know, to use this module, I'm going to use the app.use middleware method. And inside this use, I'm going to say cookies and specify parenthesis. So this will just call a class cookies. So this statement is going to allow us to use this module and create cookies. So just down here, just out of this home route, down here I'm going to say app.get. I'm going to create get request and I'm going to create a route set user. So this is the name of my route. If you want, you can change it. And here I'm going to set request and response. And inside the callback function, I'm going to set response dot cookies. And in the parenthesis, I'm going to create a variable called user data. Now, if you want, you can specify any name to these cookies. This is just like a variable name. I'm going to create a cookies using this method cookies and specify a variable name user data and specify value to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new variable up here. I'm going to say let users is equal to and in the object as a key and value pair, I'm going to say name John and age 28. Now I'm going to store this data inside my user data variable. So I'm going to copy this user variable and pass it as a second argument to this cookies method. So I'm going to have these values inside this user data variable. So this will just create a cookies called user data and store all these values using this variable. Now, once I have my cookies, let me just send a response. So here I'm going to say response.send and I'm going to say user data added to cookies. Now, just after that, I want to get all these cookies data on a different route. So down here, I'm going to say app.get and to the get request, I'm going to create a new route called get user. So this route is going to return the cookies data. So I'm going to say here a callback function, request and response and create here a curly braces. And inside this callback function, I'm going to just response with this send method. And here I'm going to say request dot cookies. That's it. Let me just save the changes and start the server. I'm going to open my terminal and here I'm going to say npm start. When I press enter, this will just start the server. When I open the localhost 3000, I'm going to have a message cookies tutorials. This is just a simple home page route. To set the cookies, we need to call this route set user. Just out of this root route, here I'm going to say set user. When I press enter, you can see a message user data added to cookies. So this will just set a cookies inside the client browser. Now, once we set the cookies, I want to get all that information on this document. As you know, I have this route here, get user. I'm going to use this route to get all the information of the cookies. 
I'm going to say here, get user. When I press enter, I'm going to have a cookies as a result. So this will return the connect SSID. This is the unique ID to identify the cookies. And this is the variable name, user data. And to this user data, I have this name and age value. So we can easily access this name and this age using this user data cookies variable. Now, once you understand how easy it is to get the cookies, let me show you how to destroy the cookies. So I'm going to back to my project and down here, I'm going to create another route. So here I'm going to say app dot get and to the route logout, I'm going to create a function, a callback function with request and response parameter and specify curly braces. And inside this callback function, I'm going to clear these cookies. So I'm going to say here response dot clear cookie. So this method is going to clear the cookie. So to this method, you need to pass the cookie name you want to clear. As you know, I have this cookie user data. So we need to pass this argument to this clear cookies. So here I'm going to say in the single code user data. So this statement is going to clear the cookies from the browser. Just after that, I'm going to return the response. So I'm going to say response.send and in the double code, I'm going to say user logout successfully. Let me save the changes, reload the browser. This will set the cookies. When I say here get user, this will get the cookies information. And when I say here log out, you will see a message user log out successfully. And when you back to the get user, you can notice the cookies is now deleted. You don't have the user data inside these cookies. You will just get the cookies SSID. Now, I hope you understand how to work with cookies in Node application. Let's create a simple login system and understand how to work with session and cookies. So from the next lecture, we're going to start a new project called login system.